Hello everyone. Uh, today I'd like to talk about a mantra that I hold specific significance uh, in regards to the nature of creation, uh, how I understand creation. Um, this mantra basically means I bow to the Lord who lives in the hearts of all. Now this is more of a uh, of a state of mind than just a mantra, which all mantras are a state of mind, but especially this one I feel. Uh, this one has special significance for me because it basically encourages compassion, seeing God in the hearts of all and bowing to God in the hearts of all, in the hearts of uh, everyone, who, everyone who exists, whether they be sentient beings, animals, plants, uh, and basically even matter itself, uh, God being at the epicenter uh, of all of these things. Now, God being at the epicenter of all of these things is a very Hindu idea. This is a Hindu mantra, in essence. Uh, it's most certainly started with Hinduism anyway. Uh, it might be used by some Buddhist sects. But um, this is a mantra that I, I learned quite a while back, and I've been using it. Uh, it basically goes like this. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om And now the Om isn't necessarily part of the mantra, but it kind of begins and ends mantras in Hinduism, generally speaking. Uh, it's, the, uh, it's, the it's the creational uh, frequency, tone, uh, uh, that everything exists through. Uh, om is everywhere, basically, in creation. Uh, and everything basically sits on it, in a way. Uh, basically, it kind of is the canvas for everything that is, uh, whether it be material, energy, um, life, sentient beings, plants, animals, things like that. Of course, plants, animals, material, material and, and, certain, and beings are all kind of a combination of material and energy. But uh, what this mantra is bowing to is not necessarily the the basic energy and material that we usually think of, it's bowing to, we're, when we say this mantra, we're bowing to the soul and everything. Um, God at the center. Uh, and the soul is basically a part of God. It's a piece of God in everything. And everything is connected to soul. So uh, basically God is everywhere, according to my, myself, uh, being a Hindu. Uh, not necessarily all Hindus believe any one thing, but the, the lineage that I follow, uh, this kind of coalesces with that. And the lineage I follow is that of uh, Paramahansa Yogananda uh, and his master uh, Swami Sri Teshwar and his master Lahiri Moshai and his master Babaji and his master Christ and his master Krishna. Uh, and you will find many books by Paramahansa Yogananda, uh, well, remembered by Swami Kriyananda, but they're the teachings of Paramahansa Yogananda. And uh, Swami Kriyananda, if you just sound it out, You'll be able to look up plenty of the books that, because Kriyananda put out a whole bunch of audiobooks and uh, regular um, written books. And uh, basically, Kriyananda means joy in Kriya Yoga, which is uh, basically the evolution of the body and the spirit towards ultimate moksha, liberation. Uh, some call it enlightenment. Uh, now, how often should you say a mantra? Say it as many times as you can, uh, realistic, realistically, in uh, any of your practices. If you meditate, if you sit and meditate cross-legged, it's better to do lotus, lotus posture, but I can't, I can't do that. <laughs> and uh, if, if you can't sit cross-legged on the floor or on a cushion, I use a cushion uh, with your hands like this. This is how I usually do it, my, the, my hands on my knees like this uh, on a meditation cushion. But if you can't sit on a cushion, if you can't sit on the ground, then... Sit on, a, sit on a chair and keep your back straight. It's very important to keep your back straight while saying this. And uh, most people in the East have their eyes open just a little bit while they're saying mantras, while they're meditating. But people in the West, like myself, tend to have eyes completely closed, which is just fine. And you might want to, while your eyes are closed, you might want to direct your sight to the third eye right here. Uh, the eye that is beyond uh, just this plane and sees time, um, sees time as illusion and sees the the ultimate uh, end of everything, beginning of everything, as being one. And that's what the third eye, when open, can see. And direct your direct your eyes to this point on the forehead, but really it's the point in the frontal lobe. Now, um, there are plenty of other mantras out there. Um, 
But I found that this one is the most meaningful for me because it's, it's a way of life. Realizing God is in everything, looking for God in everything. And, and I think no other mantra describes a way of life like this one does. Uh, bowing to the Lord who lives in the hearts of all. And I would highly recommend you using this mantra. Now, even if you're not Hindu, this isn't necessarily just for Hindus. If you're Christian, if you're, if you're Buddhist, if you're... Some Muslims might want to use it, though I, I suspect not, uh, because of certain tensions between Hindus and Muslims. Not that I have any problem with Muslims, but there is a lot of tension and a lot of uh, misunderstandings between Hindus and Muslims. Uh, but no matter what practice uh, practices you participate in, no matter what uh, spiritual faith or religion uh, or spiritual tradition you're in, uh, whether you're a Vodalisant, like me, I'm also a Vodalisant, or you're uh, Asatoire, Asatoire, uh which is follower of the uh, ancient Northern European gods, uh, the Aesir, uh, means true to the Aesir. Um, but no matter who you are, you can use mantras like this. And Om especially is universal. It's not just a Hindu thing. I would highly recommend using this mantra. And once again, it's Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. And you want to say it very clearly, slowly, consistently. And you might want to breathe in when you're saying it, and then after you breathe out, and after the end of the mantra, and then say, breathe in, and start with Om again, and always end with Om. Uh, but uh, thank you very much for watching. This video uh, went on a little bit longer than it needed to, but um, if you have any questions or any comments, feel free to shoot them down there to the comment section, uh, and I will, uh, I will respond. Uh, as long as you're respectful, I'll respond to you. But uh, thank you very much, and uh, I will see you in the future.